All right, is the AR 9mm a viable option for home defense, truck gun, trunk gun, whatever? I know there's some mixed opinions out there. I'm gonna give my opinion. I say the answer is yes. Hey, and they're like, hey, what are you, some kind of expert? Hey, that's a regular guy's opinion. All right, why is that? All right, let's go through it. Right now, I've got nine millimeter rounds actually laying right there, but say you get 115. I know they make like, you know, 147 grain, you know, there's other mixtures in there and whatnot, but basically you're putting the weight of two five five six rounds uh, inside whatever target you're shooting at for every one you're putting this. So it's slower shooting, more knockdown, more weight. Somebody will be like, oh, there's no such thing as knockdown and whatnot. You know what? You're a FUD. Have, have a couple of rounds hit and then see and tell us how, how is the knockdown. Somebody will be like, oh, if you're running the, uh, you know, the 77 grain or something like that, then it could be more than that. Well, you know what? You could also be running uh, 147 grain here. But common 5.56, 55 grain, common, uh, you know, 115, you know, it's common 95 or 124, all about twice as much or half as much, depending on which one you're talking about. So, boom, got it. Knocked down, uh, wait, people are like, oh, magazine capacity for the 5.56. Well, you can put a 30 round magazine in this one. This takes Glock magazines, dedicated lower right here. Uh, so, I think there's a place for it, the magazine capacity. Then other people say, oh, but the 5.56 has a much better range, sir. And I'm like, okay. Everybody knows I come from the GWAT. <laughs> Anybody that doesn't know about the global war on terrorism, and be, I know people like, oh, y'all are some old guys or whatnot. Eh, whatever. During those engagements, uh, most were inside of 200 yards. And you're like, okay, is a nine millimeter deadly within 200? The answer is yes. They're like, is it accurate within uh, 200? I haven't taken this one out to 200. I was shooting at like head size targets out to 100. You know what, just take a look at this. All right, that's me out there just plinking around, messing around. Uh, I was hitting some of the headshots. I was missing some of the headshots, uh, like body size shots. I was hitting pretty consistently, probably eight or nine out of 10 at 100 with a five inch barrel uh, suppressed and nothing but a red dot. And some people are like, oh, I can hit with a 5.56 five, at 100. Uh, I can hit a headshot with iron sights. Uh, yeah, you know what, you probably can. This is me out there standing, plinking around, just messing around, just saying, hey, is this worth anything? Because you know what, it's light, it's maneuverable. I like, I mean, this thing is like, I could hold this all day. And you know what, even with a suppressor on it, it's still not very heavy. And you're like, okay, you got the suppressor. Also inside a house or something like that, a suppressed nine millimeter, not very loud at all. Uh, even a two, two, three, suppressed is better. Unsuppressed, terrible inside a house, especially with a short barrel like this, extremely loud. Even if you put a suppressor on a two, two, three, it is still going to be louder and it's still going to be supersonic. Be like, oh, there is such thing as subsonic two, two, three rounds. Once again, FUDs, we're talking about the most common things out there. Also, over penetration. Two, two, three, how many walls are you going to shoot through in your own house or say you're using it as a truck gun and some stuff goes bad and you have to shoot at a vehicle or whatnot? you will shoot through two doors of a vehicle out the other side and into another vehicle with a 223, especially at close range. And you know what? Most times in a vehicle engagement, you're gonna be fairly close range. You're not gonna be, you know, 500 yards away. How are you gonna PID something like that? So there is a place for it out there. What would you say, put it in the comment, would you say home defense weapon, truck gun, trunk gun? What do you think is the best use for the AR 9 millimeter or pistol caliber carbine? It can be suppressed, unsuppressed. You know what? If you already have opinion and you're not changing it, put that in the comments. If this was helpful and enlightened you a little bit, hit the like. If you disagree with everything I said, just hit the don't like twice. And you know what? If you got some other good ideas, hey, put them in the comments. We're always glad to hear it. That's not the opinion. That's just a regular guy's opinion.